Hello, I'm David Guthrie with His Word Lives Ministry, and we once again want to welcome you to this Christian message today. We're in the book of Colossians in chapter 4, and we're going to read verses 1 through 6 to you. This is the Apostle Paul and his letter to the church at Coloss, and we got an important message today for you that are in authority. God remembers you and how you're to live a godly life with the authority that you have. The scripture says, Masters, give your bond servants what is just and fair, knowing that you also have a master in heaven. I want you to know that when it talks about masters, the scripture is talking about anybody that is in a position of authority over other people that affects their lives and their well-being. And us as bond servants is that all of us have been underneath someone and relied on a higher authority in our workplace, uh, our, our personal lives, uh, all kind of things, finances, home situations. So we can all be in a servant servant type position. And the scripture is calling on the one in authority to be just and fair. Maybe the way they would want to be treated. And listen, we all have a master in heaven. And that's Jesus Christ, the Lord of Lord and King of Kings, the Savior of all mankind. Jesus is the one that makes things happen and Jesus is the one that prevents things from happening. Listen, we all have a master. Let's treat each other with the utmost justliness and the utmost fairness as we can in our lives. Let's go on with the scripture here in verse 2. Continue earnestly in prayer, being vigilant in it with thanksgiving. Meanwhile, praying also for us. This is a prayer that Paul is seeking from the church <clears throat> that God would open to us a door for the word to speak the mystery of Christ for which I am also in chains that I may make it manifest as I ought to speak. Walk in wisdom toward those who are outside or those that are lost. Have wisdom in how we deal with them. Redeeming the time exchanging a time when it's uh, proper to share the truth about Jesus. Let your speech always be with grace or favor, but seasoned with salt, the truth <clears throat> that you may know how you ought to answer each one. I hope you enjoyed the reading of this scripture this morning and the message that God laid on your heart during the reading of his words. Uh, <clears throat> we want to we want to have our uh, our prayer time now, our prayer meeting, and we want to lift up Eric Elrod and uh, my new friend and in his family and his ministry that God would bless him and help him in situations in his life. And we want to pray for Veronica Bristol and. And we want to pray for her and her family and her finances and her living place. <clears throat> Vicki Patania, we want to pray for a procedure uh, for a blockage in her, in her leg. And Darlene James, she has some hard family situations going on right now. And Dickie Welch has prayer for his nephew, Will Townsend. Selena Cape was in a, a wreck, and she's, she's doing good, but she's bruised up and at, and at home, the way I understand it. But we want to pray for Selena's recovery. Kayla Cronin, we want to pray for her, and, and her baby boy had a small scare, and she's in bed rest for a week. And we want to pray for this situation and this baby boy. Uh, Bob Lamar has a praise that he is at home and doing great. Uh, Michael Moore, we want to pray for a friend, Margie Finley, that has cancer, and her husband, Johnny. <clears throat> and 
Deb Steele has two unspoken prayer requests we want to lift up. Haley Coy, uh, <clears throat> she has prayer for a loss of a friend uh, within the Kirby family and the Sand Mountain Dentistry family. We want to we want to we'll pray for with Haley and all of those involved uh, and the hearts that are touched with this loss. We want to pray for Tammy Spivey for safe delivery of a grandson. And I have not heard any more about that. And Linda LaRue asked prayer for her mama that's back in the hospital. And I encourage you to lift up your prayers right now as we go to go to to the Lord in prayer and lift up your prayers. Dear God, we come to you in prayer with thankfulness in our hearts that we can approach you and that, that we can have a communication and, and, and commune with you. And we, we thank you for that, God, that you would, would listen and care and encourage us to pray about things and to be thankful for the good things that happen in our lives. And God, we pray, Lord, if we are in a position of authority, that we would be uh, respectful, God, and fearful of you as you are <clears throat> the great authority and the master in heaven. God, we lift up all of these that we've made mention of, and we pray for them uh, for benefits and blessings in their lives. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you for being with us today. God bless you. Have a wonderful day. Enjoy another day of life. Praise God.